Um, hello. Of course it's me. You're not dreaming, human. No, I didn't think we'd ever meet again either. I had my mind all but made up on that. But, considering all that's been happening recently, I wanted to see you. No, I needed to see you. No doubt you know about what's transpired already. The social norm around here has been entirely destroyed, to say the least. Yes, I am referring to what happened between Slade and August. Obviously, I'm not all that close to the situation. I have no idea of the finer details of what happened, or even the true nature of their relationship for that matter. But, well, their falling out has had an effect on all of us. Myself included, as it would seem. I despise the fact that anything involving Slate could have so much influence over my actions. But, I can't deny that watching his behavior over the last few days has brought some clarity for me. Which is why I chose to come here. No doubt you are incredibly confused. After the way I behaved the last time we saw each other, I wouldn't blame you for drawing all kinds of conclusions on your own. But I have come here tonight in hopes of explaining myself to you. At least a little. Well, if you wish for me to come in, I can do so. All right. Yes, I... I think it'd be probably preferable if we sat down. This may take a while. <sighs> I suppose it is best if I start at the beginning. The last time we spoke, I told you that I had never really understood what it meant to be lonely. For my whole life, I have been isolated. At first, it was at my parents' enforcement, so I would have the most productive childhood and be as prepared as possible to become the leader of Clan Aurelius. And then, it was by my own choice. For a very long time, I told myself that it was because I preferred to be alone. And in some sense, that is still the truth. I do not enjoy the company of most people. But, I've also come to realize recently it has also been a product of my own inability to connect with others. I don't have any friends. Even amongst my subordinates, there is no one I can speak freely to. Most of them are either too scared of me 
or too professional to try and get to know me better. For hundreds of years, my life has been the never-ending monotony, my own company, until you. You are the first person I have ever connected with like this. The first person to ever pique my interest in such a way. The first person I have ever wanted to know more about purely for the sake of knowing. I still don't know what it is about you that changed my mind so drastically. <laughs> Maybe it is simply the fact that you are human? How ironic would that be? The thing is, I didn't put these pieces together until we were in my library that night. That was when I realized the only time that I'm not lonely is when I'm with you. I didn't know what it felt like before to not be alone. I had just assumed that the hollow feeling in my chest was how things were meant to be. It was only when I was sitting there with you that I registered. For the first time in all of my hundreds of years of life, I did not feel hollow. More than that, I realized that I didn't want to leave your side. Not ever. I was almost on the verge of saying it, actually. I was so close to just telling you. But I couldn't. Why? <laughs> Is it not obvious, silly human? I couldn't say it because I was scared. I'm one of the oldest and most powerful vampires alive. I'm the leader of Clan Aurelius. I am feared by every single living being that knows my name. And yet, I was scared. Scared by the simple existence of one single powerless human. And all because you made me feel things I didn't think I was capable of. That was why I ran. Because I didn't know what to do with myself. Suddenly, realizing how dependent I was becoming on you, how much I craved your presence at my side, it was too much. It's still too much, if I'm honest. That was why I was so prepared to stay away from you. Because if I let myself forget what it felt like to have you in my life, I wouldn't be able to miss it when you inevitably left. <laughs> Close your leave. Whether it's by your own choice or not, at some point you'll go. And I'll still be here. I'm terrified of how that will feel when it happens. I can tolerate the isolation now, because I have nothing to compare it to. But if I allow myself to get used to what it feels like to be with you, it'll only hurt more when the end eventually comes. For a while, I had decided that the brief happiness I might feel wasn't even worth the inevitable pain in the end. But I have since reconsidered. Yes, it is because of what happened with Slade. I'm sure you've seen him since August decided to leave. He's in a worse state than anyone around here, friend or foe, has seen him before. I still hate him, 
but I envy him too. He's struggling right now. His world has been torn apart. And yet, that pain he's experiencing, it means that he wasn't alone. And that's more than I've ever had. The more I look at him now, the more I realize that I'd much rather have that pain. The pain of having had that connection and then lost it, than to live with this emptiness in my chest for the rest of my life. Of course, I... I know that it's probably far too late for me to say this all to you now. The entire time that we've known each other, I've been needlessly cruel. I've said so many times that you are not deserving of my time. But the truth is, it is I who doesn't deserve you. And for that, I'm sorry. Well, now you know. I've said all I came here to. I understand that this probably won't change anything between us. But I couldn't keep myself from hoping. Just a little. And besides, I believe you deserve to know. I'll take my leave now. It's getting late. Why are you... Holding on to my sleeve. Spare me the pitying look, would you? I knew full well the implications of coming here tonight. I don't need your condolences on top of... <clears throat> Why did you just do that? I don't understand. Are you? Does this mean what I take it to? Say it. Please. Just say it for me. I need to hear the words right from your lips in order to believe it. Dramatic. It's all you. Kissing me instead of just asking me to stay. You humans are always so needlessly exaggerated. No, I didn't dislike it. The same way I didn't dislike the sound of your voice when you told me you loved me just seconds ago. <laughs> You're cute, human. I'll give you that. So, I suppose I am to assume that all my plans to stay away from you have become redundant? Yes. I had fully intended to disappear from your life entirely after this confession. I am in no place to ask you to stay by my side, and I had assumed that whatever feelings you might have had towards me had entirely dissolved after I ran. It would seem that I was wrong. I don't think I've ever been so glad to have miscalculated... I feel that I should warn you. Being with me won't be easy. I've told you this before, but... My duty is, and always will be, to my people. 
Protecting Clan Aurelius is my purpose for being alive. Meeting you hasn't changed that. But I will attempt to make an effort to find time for you. <laughs> Fine. I will find time for you. And the fact also still remains that you are a human. You will grow and change as your life continues and you get older. You will evolve as a person. I will not. That is something you must be willing to accept if you want to stay with me. Me? No, I do not resent it. It is upsetting to think about, of course, and I dread the day that I will have to return to a life without you in it. But I believe it's worth it, the time we will have together. It is worth it if I could just spend a forever's worth of happiness with you. Even if it is your forever, and not mine. The only remaining question now is, is it worth it for you? The ball is in your court, human. <laughs> Answer honestly. I'm glad. Thank you, human. I will do my best to give you the life you deserve. <sighs> well, this was the last thing I had expected to have happened to me today. I was honestly half convinced you wouldn't even allow me a chance to talk. And yet, I have ended up spending far longer here than I ever thought possible after our last meeting. Look, the sun is starting to rise. <sighs> Seems I did not account for time well enough. It's already too bright. I suppose I am stuck here for the time being. Do you mind, human? <laughs> I thought not. I do not mind either. Hmm. Were you about to go to sleep before I arrived? I know that since you have adjusted your sleep schedule to match that of a vampire's, this is now the hour you would call bedtime. If you're tired, you should sleep. Do not worry, human. We have an entire future to spend talking. I am happy for you to rest now. Oh, she would like for me to stay at your side? <laughs> Already clinging to me, are you? I... I can do that, though. I will watch over you while you sleep. I will watch over you for the rest of your life. All right, let's go. Your eyelids are starting to droop. And I would like you to at least be slightly coherent once you awaken again. There's so much I want to show you, little human. And I intend to start immediately. Well, hello, little human. I am glad to see you have lingered for a moment. I wanted to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed the audio. We would all appreciate it a lot. We also have a Patreon, so if you're an adult and search for more exclusive content, visit patreon.com slash anagome. I uh, may or may not be making an appearance there shortly. Or if you would like to spend some more time with me, or any other characters for that matter, you can commission a custom audio from us at anagomi.com slash commissions 
Whatever your heart desires, we can make it happen. Well, I suppose that is all I needed to say. Be sure to take care of yourself, human. Goodbye.